How's it going, ladies and gents, boys and girls? Jeff Benjamin with 9 to 5 Mac. This is episode one for 2022 of Back to the Mac. And we're talking all about my desktop Mac setup. And in typical Back to the Mac fashion, we are also doing a giveaway, this time an Apple polishing cloth. Stay tuned to the end. So let's have a look at my desktop workspace for 2022, at least this part of 2022. Things tend to change around here, as you probably already guessed. But here's the way things look right now. This is my desktop workspace, starting with the BDI Stance Desk. Now, this is a 60 inch by 24 inch desk with a satin etched tempered glass desktop surface. And I love the way the desktop surface feels. However, it does tend to show a lot of dust and it can get nicked up as well fairly easily. And of course, this is a standing desk. It can go up to about 50 inches, go down to about 24 inches, and it has five different or four different memory levels. The remainder of the desk is comprised of powder coated stainless steel. If you'd like to learn more about it, you can read our post over at 9 to 5 Mac. I'm mostly happy with this desk. I've always loved BDI design, but in practice, I probably wouldn't get the stance desk again because it's just so easily scratched up. So of course the next item on my desktop is the Pro Display XDR, which I've had since 2019. And it's still the best Mac centric monitor that you can purchase right now. However, I probably wouldn't recommend it given the fact that Apple is rumored to be working on new displays, hopefully a Pro Display XDR replacement along with a more budget friendly option as well. This one is just too expensive and doesn't have all the bells and whistles of the latest MacBooks. So it's very difficult to recommend at this point. It was rec difficult to recommend period because it just costs a ridiculous amount. So if you're looking for a new display, I definitely would hold off on the XDR. Now, if you notice, I'm not using Apple's $1,000 stand. I'm actually using the Ergotron HX monitor arm. Now, this is the very first monitor arm that I've ever owned. And I would never go back to a stand. This thing is just so flexible. You can orient the monitor in so many different positions. You can tilt it, pan it, raise it, lower it, rotate it. You can do pretty much anything. This arm is amazing. And yeah, like I said, you can rotate this thing 90 degrees and view your XDR just like that. Just like you could with the $1,000 stand, except this one costs much less and there's less footprint on your desktop. So it actually takes up less space on your desk. Now to use a monitor arm with the Pro Display XDR, you do have to pay for Apple's $200 Visa adapter. And then the arm itself is about $300. So you're out $500, but that's still $500 less than Apple's stand. And notice no wobble when typing on the desk. That's really nice. Now the XDR has three USB-C ports to pass through to the connected Mac. And that's very handy. I do wish it was Thunderbolt pass through, but it's still very nice. You could see the CF Express reader, which connects magnetically and the Logitech webcam, which also connects magnetically. Very handy. Now all this is powered by the M1 Mac mini. And you're probably wondering, well, where is the M1 Mac mini? I don't see it on your desk. That's because it's mounted underneath the BDI desk. So I just purchased a mount off Amazon, mounted it under the desk, and that keeps the desktop surface clean, free of cable clutter, and just allows me to enjoy more desktop real estate. Now sometimes, especially when I need a little bit more power, I do connect my MacBook Pro instead, but this Mac mini is always there, always on, always ready to go. And you can see the, the mounts underneath there, and it just clamps around the Mac mini and then the mount itself screws into the desktop surface. So this Mac mini unfortunately only has two Thunderbolt ports. One is taken up by the Pro Display XDR. The other is connected to a OWC Thunderbolt 3 SSD. That's my biggest gripe with this setup. The Mac mini just doesn't have enough Thunderbolt IO. But as soon as the more powerful Mac mini launches, I will be replacing the M1 Mac mini. The Pro Display XDR doesn't have built-in speakers like an iMac. Thus, I'm using the iLoud micro monitors for sound output. Now you may remember I had the white versions of these monitors back in the past, but now that I have the black BDI desk, I went ahead and switched over to the black micro monitors. Shout out to Jonathan Morrison for recommending these to me. They sound great. They have really good low end sound, surprisingly good low end sound. So here's the rear panel. You have inputs for your audio interface. You have EQ settings, etc. Here are the iLoud micro monitors with the built-in stand to help isolate the monitors while on the desktop. 
So needless to say, I'm a big fan of the iLoud micro monitors because they only cost 300 bucks and they sound much better than the price might suggest. And not just that, they have an understated look that looks great on the desktop next to the Pro Display XDR. The next audio related item is my SM7B from Shure. Now it's connected to my Yellowtech Mika microphone arm and I've had that arm for many years. Here is the SM7B, great sound. It's connected to the Mix Pre 3, which is from Sound Devices. This thing's built like a tank. And I also have the Audio-Technica ATH M50X. And yeah, as you can see, I probably need to go ahead and upgrade these. I've had these for years and they still sound good, still work good. But as you can see, they've been through some things. I've already replaced the ear cups at least twice. And I don't think you can replace the headband. So I probably just need to go ahead and grab another pair. What do you guys think? Now, of course, the seating surface is a fundamental part of any desktop setup. And in the past, I tended to cheap out on, on chairs, basically. How to get the Office Depot special for 200 bucks and be done with it. But then I had the back pain and then the chair just didn't last all that long. The foam basically disintegrated. Well, eventually I wised up, my back thanked me. I purchased the Aeron used and then I gave that to a friend and then I purchased this new one here. And it's been a game changer because you can adjust everything. You can adjust the tilt, you can adjust the height, you can adjust the uh, the lumbar, you can adjust the arms, which is extremely important when typing. You have to dial it in to get it adjusted just right, but once you do, it makes a huge difference. So a few additional things, of course, my Magic Mouse is my go-to mouse. I have my Keychron Q2, which is my new keyboard that I love. Check out the hands-on video. And then I have some Nano Leaf shapes in the background for that extra little bit of lighting. Here's another little thing I wanted to show you guys because I thought some may find interesting because I have a very small office area and floor real estate is at a premium, right? There's just not a lot of space on the floor for light stands and C stands and things like that. So what I've done is I've used these little arms to mount everything, the lights all on the ceiling and they are fully adjustable. I can adjust them to point anywhere and it's been a huge help. Okay, so in typical back to the Mac fashion, we do have a giveaway. This time I'm giving away an apple polishing cloth, because why not, right? So if you wanna win this apple polishing cloth, I'm giving away just one, I'm keeping one for myself. Uh, this is what you need to do. Go ahead and go to our Instagram page, 9 to 5 mac find the post related to this episode of Back to the Mac, make sure you're following us on Instagram, and just leave a comment or a thought or anything related to this video, what you did like, what you didn't like, etc. And then I will pick someone at random, you will get my personal cleaning cloth as you can see right here i picked it up from the apple store you will get this guy shipped to you so ladies and gentlemen this is the very first episode of back to the mac for 2022 there are going to be many many more episodes to come in fact the next episode we're going to be talking about intel Macs. So you're probably wondering why we're we talking about intel Macs. well it's because i decided to have a little fun with some sonnet egpu stuff ladies and gentlemen let me know what you think down below in the comments this is jeff with 9to5mac